Hello, hello, and hello, guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos for NGB, but with Gamescom and before that E3 out of the way, I thought I'd do a video for PES 2014. Uh, this is the leaked demo that was on PSN a few days ago, probably a week ago now. Uh, I've lost all track of time. Um, and this is based on early code. Um, so guys, please be aware of that uh, if, if you're not totally uh, in tune with what's been happening. It's based on early code, preview code that I did report on uh, on the WNB forums and Twitter as well uh, with not too positive thoughts, but you know, again, it is early code and there are st still quite a few things to like about it. Uh, but yeah, let's go into the main menu and I, I think you see the first change here compared to previous PES games. The menu is uh, different. Um, you know, I think they've gone for the more visually appealing uh, look here, uh, Konami and the PES team, um, which works in some degree, I guess, um, but overall it's got a very sort of 1990s look about it, which isn't particularly great, it's quite clunk uh, clunky to be fair, but I'm not going to talk about the menu for this whole video. Uh, there is a training mode in here, but not going to look at that, uh, we'll, we'll go into a match in a minute, but I just want to look at some of the um, the assist options, the support settings, uh, control settings, uh, as you will. Um, so let's have a look. Not too different from previous uh, PES titles, uh, especially last year. Um, you've got the bar here, the bar for pass support, which I'm not a huge fan of, to be fair. I'd prefer it if it was just uh, assisted, uh, semi-assisted, and full manual. Um, the, the whole bar thing, I think, complicates situations. Um, but I usually play on two bar, so I'm going to leave it as that. Um, again, don't <laughs> don't flame me, but I just enjoy two bar. I, I feel it's the right degree uh, of freedom involved in terms of the passing. Uh, all the other settings are pretty much the same, but I guess you've got the option to turn off all the guides, which I will do. Don't like clutter on the screen. Uh, and what I do like is the introduction of the through ball type. So the advanced through ball. Uh, really good. You can it gives you again more freedom over the fruit balls. You can curve them. I do like that. So I'm going to have that on. And uh, let's go back into the menu. Uh, this kind of highlights how clunky the menu is. Not particularly great. But let's go into a match exhibition. Again, this is uh, based on early code. This demo wasn't supposed to come out to the public yet. The proper demos are coming out on the 10th, 11th, and 12th in different regions, and Xbox Live, PSN. Um, but yeah, again, this is leak code, uh, leak code, leak demo. So please be aware of that. Uh, I'm going to play as Bayern against Santos because the difficulty setting in this is set to superstar, I believe. Uh, so it is quite difficult. Uh, me talking and playing will make it even more difficult. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So let's go into game plan. Um, again, you've got the nice smooth look, but you know you can't do substitutions, which was a bit uh, of a bummer in the preview code as well. Uh, can't put Robin on, so just got to leave it as it is. As it is. Um, you've got the, all the strategy, tactical stuff. Uh, what I do like is the new strategy indicator. So you can see the d description there yourself. Um, so when you get go into certain areas, uh, as you see here, I've got 1, 5, and 8 highlighted. Um, an indicator will come up on the screen, and you press the L2 button twice, and it will trigger runs. Uh, and, you know, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, so we'll try and do that in the game uh, anyway. But let's kick off, as we can't do any other options anyway. Giving you some tips. R1 in uh, set pieces, which is the penalties. You can see the the guide guidance line, which has been a bit of a controversial thing in the community. Um, yeah, uh, I'm. I can see why it's there. I'm still. I'm not a fan of it, but I can see why it's there. They want to introduce uh, the whole set piece system to beginners to the PES series. Um, so I can see why it's there, but you can turn it off and hopefully in online matches Konami give you a setting so where you can you know, play against people not using the guidance line. But this is one of the best parts of the game, the visual aspect, the whole crowds, uh, you've got the mosaics there. Um, definitely you can see an influence of the Fox engine, but as I've said it, uh, in the gameplay it's a bit hit and miss, but in terms of the presentation you can certainly see you know, on current gen uh, systems, this is PS3, uh, it 
does look very, very good. Nice little pan of the crowd there. Bayern Munich. Again, player likenesses, usually in pairs, compared to FIFA, they're really good. And I think that's still the case here, but I think with the new engine and everything into place, some likenesses do need a bit of working on. Um, but yeah, on the whole, some of the likenesses are really, really good. I'm just going to press start here and go into the game. Let's kick off. So yeah, movement is better. Uh, I mean, the animations, you know, show, show off the inclusion of the Fox engine really well. Um, but there is uh, the whole aspect of like the players. I think I mentioned in oh, the chance here. Got it. Um, yeah, uh, I did mention in my thoughts previously that I think some, you know, players do at the moment feel in this code especially like they turn like tanks. Maybe, maybe that's a bit harsh, but that's how I felt when I played a lot, putting a lot of hours into the preview code. He's in again. Oh, save no, yeah. yeah, and that's one of the improved parts as well. The keepers, um, even though they're not perfect, I don't think they ever will be perfect. Um, keepers in real life football make a lot of mistakes. Uh, they do tend to push the ball away from the goal a lot more. Try to head this away. Keeper. Good, good, good. And the whole throw animation from the previous PES game has been fixed, which is always a nice thing. Let's try and play this. I like the lovely uh, lofted balls as well. Really cool. Pressing circle, just switching play like this. Uh, try and concentrate a little here. And the whole physical aspect when the bodies collide look really uh, good in real time, but if you go into the replays, you can see some uh, some clipping. So uh, one body going through another. Um, again, hopefully that will be tweaked um, before the release of the game, and maybe in the in the demo as well. The next demo you see. Come on, Dante, let's go. Loft. Uh, can you get it? Oh, unlucky. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Go on, Ribery. Oh, well defended. Um, let's try and get this. So, if you press L1, maybe some players didn't know this, you can flick the stick and choose where you want to put the throw. A bit diff different to last year. Let's try and get a cross in. Header! Oh! Save. Good save. So yeah, heading is improved. Um, in PES 2013, it was like potluck if you'd have a good header. Uh, it was like almost like a 1% chance you'd have a good header. Um, but yeah, here we go. Here's a good chance to show off the guidance uh, the guidance line. Uh, again, you can turn it off. All you've got to do is press the R1 button. But there is uh, in the previous, uh, I think it was E3, you, know, you could pretty much try and curl the ball towards the goal and score. Uh, let's, tr let's, let's, let's try and do that here, see how, how they've improved it since. Uh, let's curve. There you go. So, yeah, the keeper reacts to those a lot better. The E3 code, um, you could pretty much get it on target and almost score every time. A few people did manage to score. Um, so, that's always good. Well, not always good that you can score, but, you know, they fixed it. <sighs> Try and concentrate. Again, some really nice animations. Um, but there's, there's certain parts that makes you feel like they, that the PES team, I, I could be wrong, that they're using, they're not using the Fox engine to its full potential. Um, I haven't had any instances so far in this game, but you can, when... Uh, the introduction of mass and uh, Barry sensor physics should introduce uh, proper foot planting. Uh, there should be none of that sliding into uh, one animation for another. That kind of looks like you're ice skating on the pitch. Uh, there are a few, a few instances that I, I've, uh, I've seen while playing this demo. Loads of instances that I saw when I was playing uh, preview code. Uh, I like to do this. Let's bring him short. This is most likely going to finish nil-nil, uh, but I'll try and get a goal. Nice. 
See, there's a whole weight weight shift thing going on there. That that, that was an example of it. Um, and you don't want players to turn on a dime, but when they sort of take, I don't want to say an age, a good few seconds to react to a turn like that, it's it's frustrating, especially when you're playing on superstar and it's locked on superstar like this. Uh, but nil nil at half time. Most of the games I have played are have been nil nil or I've won like one nil or lost one nil because um, it is a pretty short half. And again, you're, you're playing on superstar. Let's go into the second half. Uh, if you have any questions, I have played uh, later code at Gamescom behind closed doors. Feel free to pop questions in the comments section below. Uh, I don't know anything about modes, so please don't ask about modes, but the latest card I did play was a lot better, much improved compared to this leaked demo. Um, the, the, I think the main thing was response times and defensive awareness. That's, uh, that is a negative in this code. Um, has improved in, in the latest code, not to the, the degree I'd like personally, but it has improved a lot. Let's try and break here. Oh, I can't cruise. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Didn't need to do that. Let's hold him. Let's hold him. Get it away. Get it away. Oh, shambles. Shambles. Feel free to flame me in the comment section if you wish. Uh, <laughs> but again, that brings into play the whole defensive uh, responsiveness and awareness. Um, I'm going to skip, skip the celebration. Look at the replay. Um... Yes, yeah, so the ball comes into the box. So right now, at this point, I'm I'm trying to clear it. The keeper comes out for no reason really. Uh, so the the whole keepers, the the whole defensive uh, response and awareness comes into play there, uh, which were one of my main frustrations of the preview code. And this is what that is essentially. So that's not it's not great. It's not great, is it? Uh, obviously, there was a, there was a you know, poor defensive, uh, poor defensive strategy or plan on my part of here. Uh, not not great play in particular, but the fact that ball went in here, so I tried to block it. So at this point, I'm trying to clear it, and keeper comes and takes it, and then the defender doesn't react, and the the AI has got a tap in, essentially. Not great, but hopefully and. Well, hopefully it is fixed for the final code. And from what I did play of the latest code at Gamescom, it has uh, improved a little. Let's try and equalise. Switch to play. Someone's come online. Don't add him to your friends list. <laughs> I still feel that um, the defensive side of the game isn't as clear as I like. Um, even though it's, you know, the introduction of true ball tech has uh, alleviated the fact that the ball is kind of not stuck to the player anymore. It's more of a separate entity, so you're actually tackling the ball, which is great, rather than the player itself, because you were giving away a lot of fouls in the previous games uh, by doing that. Um, but it's still not as clear as I like and hopefully I discussed this on a recent Pez United podcast I was on um, that I think they need to introduce a proper training mode for, for stuff like this that's a good ball see that's the advanced through ball absolutely love it hit it oh save see there's still great Pez moments here like that that great all the ball top through ball um, I shouldn't really shot from there should I but I had really no chance Otherwise, uh, but let, let's try and put a proper quarter in this time. Uh, about there. Oof, good cross. See, that's that's where the guidance thing comes into play. Let's get a cross in. Hit it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so it's a good hit. So, yeah, the shooting is great when it comes off like that. But 
Also, there's instances where it just feels a little too floaty, but that is a great example of how the shooting should work. Really felt, it gave me good feedback there. I was like, ooh, this is going to nestle in the top corner. Just wide, but not bad. Uh, I'm probably going to lose this 1-0. Get it? Oh. Ah, that was a bad ball. Bad ball. Um, yeah, difficult to talk and play at the same time, guys. I was giving uh, people uh, before some stick about playing and uh, talking at the same time. Adam Batty, in particular, when he was in the video video for IGN, uh, the Pez community manager. Um, but yeah, I feel his pain. I feel his pain. At least he got a nil-nil. Get away. Yeah, see, that's another example. Again, I was pressing um, clearance there for a bit. Just the, the responsiveness is at this stage, this this code was not great. Just ran past that guy. Hold him up. Oh, turn. Offside, surely. Oh, that's poor, poor pass. Oh, good save. Oh, he gave a free kick. Oh, it's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. That's the usual Pez fighting cutscene going on there. Yeah, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, foul. And you kind of saw there, if you look carefully, there was a bit of uh, clipping going on. Uh, one player's legs going through another's. Oh, great save. Great save. Uh, but yeah, I lost 1-0, uh, but it was more about showing you guys, that's my excuse, I'm sticking with it, uh, the game, and just talking about a few things that I've mentioned before, uh, and get it down, get, get it on video form, essentially. But not too bad form, it's 50-50 possession, I thought I played not too bad, you know, considering I was talking and playing at the same time. But yeah, guys, if you have any comments, uh, if you want to flame me, free feel to do it in the comments section, <laughs> I can take it, it's cool. Um, but if you have any uh, questions about you know, the later code, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks, guys.